Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Kano Tryharding Modern. I figured I'd take a break for a day, um, not playing Tron decks. Uh, couldn't find... There were a few other decks I got requests for playing in Tryharding, and most of the archetypes that were requested, um, while probably being Tier 1 power level, don't meet the arbitrary criteria that I have for playing them in Tryharding right now. So... We're going to try playing Dredge, because Dredge is a big part of the metagame, and um, I've noticed some interesting things about Dredge the last few times I've seen it. Um, namely, every single Dredge opponent that I've seen has mulled to, like, five playing Dredge, and I don't know why. Uh, literally, uh, the Dredge opponent we played against in the Orzov League, they mulled to five at least one of their games... Um, the, like, two Dredge opponents and one of the other Tryharding leagues we played against in the same league, like, every single game of the three mulled to five. Um, and that tells me that there's some kind of big consistency issue with Dredge? Or they, like, they have to, like, and it was even game one, so it's not always like it's a sideboarding thing, which is really interesting to me. Um, but, like, I saw this list, and it's only running two Golgari Thug, so generally, like, when you're playing Dredge, you want to max out on Dredgers, so you play, like, four Stinkweed Imp, four Thug, and then four Loam. But here, we're not doing that, so I'm kind of wondering what the deal is, and hopefully by playing this, we will find out. So for those of you who don't know what Dredge is, I'll go over it really quick. Dredge is a keyword that exists on a few creatures from original Ravnica block. And it says that if you would draw a card, you may mill five cards, or mill X cards, where X is the number next to Dredge. And then if you do, you can return that card from your graveyard to your hand. It was meant to be a limited mechanic where your library was your resource to get back cards from the grave, which makes sense when you only have 40 cards in your deck. Uh, nobody realized that in Constructed, this would be incredibly broken, because when all of your cards do something from the grave, this effectively says, if this is in your grave, you may draw five cards instead of drawing a card. Um, then you use dredge cards and powerful draw effects like Thardic Reunion, Merchant of the Veil, uh, Red's discard draw effect, like Ox of, uh, Agonis, to dump a whole bunch of dredge cards into your grave, dredge half your library, and then... Uh, Conflagrate gives you a giant fireball from the grave. You have Prized Amalgam, which is a 3-3 that you can get back for free relatively easily. Uh, Bloodgast, which is a very recursive creature um, from the grave to deal damage. This is kind of a, and, and more recently printed, Creeping Chill, which is when it's put into your graveyard from your library, it's a free lightning helix targeting your opponent's face. So Dredge plays this weird aggro combo, aggro combo graveyard reliant deck. Um, it gets a lot of zombies, it's a lot of fun, uh, and with a lot more cards having been printed relatively recently in Magic's time frame, the deck's kind of evolved to play this, um, play this style. There's a few different styles of Dredge that you can play. Um, some of them involve Silver Smote Ghoul, other ones involve, like, Smiting Helix, and you play Mardu. Um, I had a point with this, and I was going somewhere with it, but it's totally escaped my mind at the moment. Um, out of the sideboard, we have some. We have Dark Blast as a dredge removal spell. We have Thought Seize to interrupt our opponent's hand. Abrupt Decay as a general catch-all answer. Lightning Axe, if our opponent is playing efficient creatures, we can kill them while also dumping a dredge card into the grave for one red mana. Uh, Ancient Grudge to deal with grave hate, and Nature's Claim Mystic Repeal to deal with grave hate. Dredge is one of those decks that like you either win the game incredibly fast, or you have to try and answer an opponent's grave hate spell uh, which is basically, if you look, almost the entire sideboard is dedicated to answering Grave Hate. Like, literally 10 out of 15 cards, potentially even 11, depending on how you consider that. So, um, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take Dredge into a Constructed League, and we'll see how we do. So I'll see you guys in round one. Alrighty, round one, here we go. Um, no Dredge cards, so unfortunately I think we have to mulligan. Ooh, yeah, okay. I will keep this, and I'm going to put back Bloodgast. Now, unfortunately, we don't have green mana, which is quite important when you play Dredge, because Loam is such an important card. And we found it. So, play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. So, our opponent is probably on control, which means we might have a tougher time. Uh, control tends to play a lot of Grave Hate. So, fetch with Bloodstained Mire. We'll get a Stomping Ground tapped. Untap. We draw Creeping Chill, play Blood Crypt, 
Cathartic Reunion, dump two imps. If they don't have a counter spell here, I think they're dead. <laughs> like, there's a really good chance. Okay, they got a mana leak, that's fine. Alright, pass the turn. There's generally not any main deck Grave Hate in these decks, so we draw Dredge Imp. We hit a single Creeping Chill, and there's an Ox. We have eight cards in the Grave. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to cycle uh, Forgotten Cave, making sure to keep my green mana. I want to dredge my other Stinkweed Imp in response so that I can get the most amount of cards into the Grave um, at this time. This way, what ends up happening is if we had hit like prized amalgams or if we'd hit like silver smote ghoul or something we're not playing silver smote ghoul but hopefully you guys understand what i'm trying to say here um generally the stuff that triggers in our graveyard by being put there triggers other stuff in our graveyard so if we hit a payoff and we have the option of instant speed dredging more we generally should um all right opponent opts so next turn we're probably playing Ox from the grave, uh, or we're casting Loam. One of those two things is happening. It kind of depends on what my opponent does. If my opponent taps out for like a Planeswalker here, I will cast Ox because then they can't Force of Negation me. Um, if they just leave up mana, I'll probably cast Loam because we do want lands. We have nothing in our grave we can dredge. I guess if I top deck a land, um, I'll probably cast Ox anyway. But it fetches for an island. Put a plays to fairy. Okay, I will be casting Ox. Put an unsummons Narcomiba. We untap. Oof. We really do not want to be drawing all these uh, creeping chills. That's pretty bad. All right. Cast Ox. Ox enters. We dump our whole hand. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. All right. We get back a couple of Narcomibas. And one prized amalgam. Then we pass the turn. Uh, next turn, we'll probably dredge Loam. Because we do really want to get a land, if possible. Opponent up ticks to Fairy, plays a land. We untap. Dredge Loam. Go to combat. And I think what we're going to do is just get real aggressive here and target our opponent. Teferi's not that huge of a threat for us. It does draw our opponent some extra cards, but... Opponent has a Supreme Verdict. Okay. If they uptick to Fairy... Eh. Nah, I guess that's fine. So we could go deep on an Ox here. Um, we would probably dredge most of our library, and if our opponent has another answer, we could be in trouble. So I think we have to start kind of strategically loaming here a little bit. Cast Loam. Because we're going to need a big Conflagrate, likely, to finish our opponent off. Okay, opponent has a Force of Negation. Pass the turn. Opponent fetches up a Hollowed Fountain. Up ticks Teferi to three. Plays big Teferi. They don't untap any lands because they have six. So we draw Loam. Creeping Chill our opponent. Loam back some lands. Okay. Uh, we have nothing else we can do with the mana this turn. So play Copper Line Gorge. Get back some Blood Gas and a Prized Amalgam. A couple Prized Amalgams. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. It's kind of sad that our opponent was at 11 and not 10, because if they were at 10 or lower, Blood Gas would have haste. Opponent up ticks to Fairy Time Raveler. Uh, we get pathed. Get our last mountain here. They path a Blood Ghast. Alright, we have no legal targets or no legal fetchable cards. Alright, we untap. Opponent gets to untap some lands. They technically can animate Colonnade here if they want. So we untap, and I think I'm going to dredge Loam. Good. That's exactly what I was looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is go to combat and attack our opponent for five. I'm trying to force my opponent to use their mana. If they think they need to block, they'll animate Colonnade. Um, we don't have quite enough cards in hand to just kill our opponent, 
I could shock Blood Crypt to try and play around like a Mana Leak, um, and then just deal five to my opponent and take them to one. Then they wouldn't be able to crack Flooded Strand. Opponent is deep in the tank. They crack Flooded Strand. They go to ten. They get a Plains. It looks like they're going to animate Colonnade here. Yep. So opponent blocks Prized Amalgam and paths Bloodgast. All right. Uh, we will not use Paths ability. They kill Amalgam. Okay, they can't have Force. So what we're going to do is loam three lands. Um, Conflagrate. Now I could kill a Planeswalker. Um, or I can just deal eight damage to them. I think we've used all of our creeping chills, though, haven't we? We have two in the grave. Yeah. So the way that we're going to end up killing our opponent is another conflagrate. Probably. I'm going to kill colonnade. That might be incorrect. Okay, dump all eight cards. Opponent goes to three. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They get three draws this turn to hit a counter spell. So they uptick to Fairy, Hero of Dominaria. They play another Colonnade. I think they uptick to Fairy Time Raveler as well. Put an untaps Colonnade. So we dredge Loam. Go to our main. Cast Loam. Okay. Counter spell check. Do you have it? And they got Snapcaster. Is this list playing... It's only playing two Conflagrates, and we've already lost all of our... Uh, other stuff. Alright. Put them down taps. Up ticks to Fairy. Up ticks to Fairy. Okay, I think we've actually lost... Okay, I'm actually going to go to game two, because I don't think we can actually win from here. All right, versus my opponent, I'm gonna bring in three Thoughtseize and um, I think a Mystic Repeal and two Nature's Claim. And I'm going to cut, man, what do I cut here? A Merchant, a Narcomoeba. Narcomoeba is really important though. Like a Cathartic, Conflagrate, a Fetchland. Oof, I don't know. And a Shriekhorn. I, I'm just going to try trimming basically one of everything. I just realized I have five minutes to play this game before I have to go do something else. <sighs> Alright, I would like to play first. I will keep this hand. We do need to draw a second land, but... Um... Oh shoot, we don't have any Overgrown Tombs, do we? Oh, that's bad. So we have to choose between Thoughtseize and Cathartic Reunion. No, Thoughtseize and Loam. That's bad. Most of the things that you actually need to cast in this deck are red, so I understand why the mana base is like that, but... And we gotta go Thoughtseize. Alright, play Bloodstain Mire. Crack Bloodstain Mire. Get a Blood Crypt. Untapped. Thoughtseize my opponent. They kept a hand with Aether Gust, Mana Leak, and Snapcaster Mage. Um, I'm gonna take... Mana leak from them. Pass the turn. Aether Gust, we could just put Cathartic back on top and then recast it in theory. Alright, everything is fine. Crack Bloodstain Mire. Get a Stomping Ground untapped. Cathartic Reunion. Dumping Golgari Thug and Life from the Loam. Dredge Thug. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Terrible Dredge. Pass the turn. All right, opponent untaps. Now, because I left them with Aether Gust, uh, Ox gets a lot better. Dredge Loam. Um, I'm gonna try casting Loam actually, because I wouldn't mind having some extra lands here. If this resolves, then we can play Shriekhorn. It does resolve. Play Copper Lion Gorge. Get back a Bloodgast. Play Shriekhorn. Pass the turn. Okay, opponent got another Mana Leak. They untap. Probably play a planes here. There's the planes. 
Just play three mana to fairy. All right, rest in peace. Never mind. That's terrible for us. We untap. Draw merchant. Cast stinkweed imp. Play bloodstained mire. Go to combat. Get in for two. Opponent goes to eighteen. They untap. Opponent plays a field. Fetch with bloodstained mire. We will get a mountain. I don't have any more black mana sources I can fetch in the deck. That's terrible. Uh, play Wooded Foothills. Go to combat. So I can't cast this Bloodgast. Attack for three. Opponent flashes in Snapcaster Mage. They're going to block Bloodgast. It's basically like a little kill spell. Cast Stinkweed. Pass the turn. Opponent casts a second Rest in Peace. We're going to Haggle. Discarding Bloodgast. Okay, hand got worse. Go to combat, attack for two. Cast Thug. I don't really think we can beat double Rest in Peace. Uh, especially when my opponent didn't keep a hand with Rest in Peace. When we thought seized them, which was kind of like the... Hopefully that works. Um, I am up against my hard stop for this game, and uh, I put my percentage chance of winning at really low, so I actually have to uh, I have to concede here. So that's my bad, picking a wrong time to record. Um, I guess I can thought seize. The problem is my opponent's gonna like play a land and then have colonnade to block, so they can like block thug, then block an imp, and it's just gonna give them so much time. And the instant they draw anything we're in trouble so this is my bad um i'm sorry i had to concede <sighs> i will wait to record the rest of this my bad all righty round two here we go um well i mean conflagrate does count as a way to uh dump the cards in your hand for dredging it's just a little bit slow um, potentially this could be really good, though, if my opponent's on a deck that plays, like, Mana Dorks and stuff. Alright. Oh, the Mirror Match. We untap. Draw Cathartic Reunion. Um, play Copper Line Gorge. Zero targets, discard Conflagrate. Pass the turn. Opponent's gonna mill themselves. Ox and Stinkweed Imp. They untap. They Dredge Imp. They mill a Narcomoeba. They should mill themselves in response here, I think. They did not. Now they mill themselves into a Bloodgast. Here comes the Cathartic. Discarding Double Imp. The opponent dredges 15 ish cards. Creeping Chilling Us once. And getting a Narcomoeba. And two, or, yeah, two prized amalgams. All right. We got to hope for a pretty good cathartic here, I think. I could conflagrate, but, hmm. If I conflagrate dumping my entire hand, except cathartic, I have five damage. So I could ping, like, bloodgast, narcomoeba, and kill a prized amalgam. Alternatively, I can just cathartic reunion and try and build my own board. I'll start Bloodstained Mire, crack, get a mountain. I think I'm going to go for the Cathartic play, and I'm going to, or I'm, I'm going to go for the Conflagrate play, and I'm going to discard everything except Cathartic Reunion. Why did I do that? Oh, that was so terrible. I need two cards in hand to cast Cathartic Reunion. Oh my goodness. Get your head in the game, Kano. Oh my god. Well, we got Loam to dredge. <laughs> <clears throat> that was that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. I don't even have enough cards in my grave to ox. So opponent mills themselves, gets back a bloodgast. They get three amalgams. Uh, that's probably why I should have killed the other narcomoeba and not the bloodgast. In my mind, I was taking less damage, but in reality, I was giving my opponent a way to get back all of their prized amalgams. So, kind of a big deal. Uh, we're taking 4, going to 12, and next turn taking 9. So, I have to dredge Imp here. I can't dredge Loam. 
Oh, and my opponent gets an ox. Whew. Uh, yeah. So don't do what I did ever. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna concede. <laughs> uh, cause, like, we're just gonna get conflagrated for like the rest of our uh, existence. Um, so versus our opponent, I think we want Dark Blast, and we may want a Lightning Axe or two. And what do we drop here? I think we drop a Merchant, Fetch Land. I think I'm just going to do a Merchant and a Fetch Land and bring in one Lightning Axe. We could hit an Ox or something. All right, we'll play first. Um, that's a Mulligan. That's way too slow. Um, we get to put back a Creeping Chill, so this hand is not quite as bad. We can fetch up a Blood Crypt, and we can Haggle an Imp. I'm going to keep, put back Creeping Chill. Alternatively, if my opponent gets like a turn one dredge, we could Dark Blast something. So start Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. It also sucks because, again, we don't have Overgrown Tomb, and green is going to be very important for us to have Loam. Opponent starts Blood Crypt into a Shriekhorn. Okay. On my opponent's second main, I'm going to Haggle Stinkweed Imp. Because if I somehow hit... Um, Narcomoeba and Prized Amalgam, I want them to be able to attack immediately. So discard Stinkweed Imp, Dredge. Hey, Narcomoeba, Prized Amalgam. So Prized Amalgam gonna come back. We untap, we draw a Merchant, go to combat, and we will attack for four. We're gonna be a little bit underpowered because we don't have quite... Like, we need to draw land, but we do get in some early damage. That is something you always want to keep in mind when you're playing Dredge. Um, if you have the ability to Dredge at instant speed or mill yourself at instant speed with things like Shriekhorn, you want to make sure that you know the timing on when your creatures from the grave are going to come back, because it matters a lot. If I had Dredged on my opponent's end step, I wouldn't have gotten that creature until my end step, um, and we would have missed three damage. So we hit our opponent for four, they go to 14, and we pass. They mill themselves into a Creeping Chill. Which gains them some life. Alright. Opponent untaps. They mill themselves post draw. They're gonna haggle. Ditching thug. Milling thug, imp, imp, and ox. Alright, so we're gonna go to their second main. Then we're gonna haggle. Okay, opponent's gonna get back blood gassed. Yeah, we'll haggle. Discarding Stinkweed Imp. Dredging Stinkweed Imp. Okay. Opponent gets back Blood Ghast. Now we have two options. We can either kill Blood Ghast or we can try to draw a land. I want to try and draw a land. Perfect. Play Copper Line Gorge. Get back Blood Ghast. And I can Conflagrate here. If I hit my opponent for four, uh, they go to 13. Then we hit them for four. All right, yep. Uh, yeah, I regretted doing this last time. I'm still going to do it. Um, I'm, I am going to kill the Blood Guest, even though it gives them another opportunity to get back stuff from the grave. They shouldn't be able to get us under um, 10 to give Blood Guest haste. Shouldn't being the operative word. I mean, they could have like a crazy ox play that... You know, gets multiple creeping chills, but they've already hit us with one. Okay, opponent dredges into a Narcomoeba. Opponent mills themselves, milling two lands. So here comes the ox. Or I guess a cathartic could be possible, but it's it's probably the ox. Alright. Opponent gets an ox. Dredge. 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 So they had a creeping chill and a Narcomoeba. And they don't have any lands in hand, so they don't get their blood ghasts this turn. We untap. Dredge. Go to our main. Time for the ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play our own ox. Prized amalgam trigger. Discard her hand, dredge, dredge, and dredge. Hmm, three creeping chills. That's got to be good, right? Get back in Narcomoeba. Trigger Amalgam again. Drain our opponent. Drain our opponent. 
drain our opponent. All right, cool. Um, no adjustments. Run it back. Uh, this seems like an all right hand. The only concern is that it's not going to be fast enough. I think we. I think turn two cathartic. We're gonna keep. It does suck because we are holding a creeping chill, and we have no way to discard on turn one. Opponent plays a Shriekhorn after mulliganing to five. We untap, draw another creeping chill. Things are oh, they're getting better and better. Question mark. So opponent untaps. Does not mill themselves pre-draw. That must mean they're trying to go for another land. Now they mill themselves, hitting nothing. Now if they miss their land drop, that would be ideal. Okay, so they did hit a land. Or had one. They cycle a Forgotten Cave, and then they pass. Yeah, I think keeping Cathartic Dredger was the uh, correct choice. <laughs> so we're gonna get a Blood Crypt tapped. Untap. We draw Stinkweed Imp. And here we go. Pitch Stinkweed Imp, Pinch Thug. Pinch? Pitch. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Two Narc Amoebas. Opponent just gives up. <laughs> All right, we beat the dredge matchup, but we didn't even know what we were doing. We'll see you guys in round three. All righty. Round three, here we go. Uh, we got Merchant, we got Thug, and we got a couple of Shriekhorns. I think this is worth keeping. We are against Electric Bob. So I'm going to keep this. Opponent starts Overgrown Tomb into a Thoughtseize. Well, they don't really have good options on what to take. I guess Shriekhorn or Merchant. They take Merchant. All right. We draw Prized Amalgam, which is not what we wanted to draw, let's be honest, but play Shriekhorn. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays a Nurturing Peatland into a Tarmogoyf. Okay. Stop on my opponent's second main, mill myself. Creeping Chill my opponent. Um, untap. Mill myself. Dredge Loam. Opponent gives up. They give up? All right, that seems a little premature, but fair enough, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to cut a land. What I want in this matchup is I want Abrupt Decay, and I want like a couple of Nature's Claim and a couple of Lightning Axe. Because <laughs> once again, I don't really know how to sideboard with this deck, so this is my best guess at what I should be doing. Um, and versus my opponent, I'm going to cut a Merchant, a Shriekhorn, one Conflict... Conflagrate, the Arid Mesa, and don't really want to cut Cathartic. I also don't want to cut a Dredger. I'm going to try bringing in just one Lightning Axe. All right, this hand is horrible. So this is a Mulligan. This hand... Uh, this hand is slow, but it's kind of funny if we get Thought Seized. What are the odds my opponent just takes out all their discard, though? Like, show game log. Opponent also Mulligan to six. They're debating about Mulliganing to five or keeping six. So... Let's see what they do, and then we'll make a decision. Uh, opponent keeps six. Do we keep the Thought Seize proof hand? I could put back Bloodgast, and then they'd have to discard a Dredger. That'd be hilarious. Um, our backup plan is like hardcasting Loam or Thug. I guess it would be bad if my opponent had um, Grave Hate of some kind. I'm going to mulligan. Oh, this hand got way worse. I should have kept. All right, here we go. Put three cards back. One, two, three. All right. Opponent starts Bloodstain Mire. Cracks Bloodstain Mire. Overgrown Tomb untapped. Nile Spellbomb. All right. We draw Arid Mesa. Shock Stomping Grounds. Nature's Claim. They crack it, exiling nothing. That was just worse than letting that happen, unless they're Death Shadow. Like, that tells me that they're actually, like, Rock or Jund Death Shadow. Because they don't want to be gaining life. That's what I saw. Okay, opponent plays Tarmogoyf. We untap. We draw a Cathartic Reunion. Play a Mountain. Oh, that was technically wrong. I should have waited in case I hit a Bloodgast. But, uh, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Goyf number two into a Raging Ravine. They might just be regular Jund. This does seem a little bit more like a regular Jund hand. Mill ourself. Untap. Mill ourself. Into an Archimede, but I actually should have waited until I dredged. But, uh, draw Stinky. 
We hit a Narc Amoeba. Go to our main. Play Cathartic. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Dredge Loam. Drain our opponent. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Really hope they don't have Nile Spellbomb. Okay, opponent plays Bloodstain Mire. They go to combat. They attack us for 10. We are going to chump. Okay, we untap. Draw Wooded Foothills. Okay. Get back Ox. Gonna exile a bunch of cards that don't do anything when they're in the grave. Oh, I should have played the Wooded Foothills. Okay, prized Amalgam Trigger. Dump our hand. Dredge Imp. Dredge Imp. Dredge Loam. Drain our opponent. Uh, I'm gonna mill myself here. Okay. Pass the turn. Get back an Amalgam, which triggers our other Amalgam. Pana fetches up a Stomping Ground, tapped. They untap. They play a Wooded Foothills. They crack Wooded Foothills for a Forest. They play Seasoned Pyromancer, dump their hand, which was an Inquisition. Then they play a third Tarmogoyf. And attack for 10. No blocks, we'll take 10. Go to 11. End step, get back another Amalgam. We untap. We go to draw Dredge Thug. Another Creeping Chill and another Narc Amoeba. So get back a Narc Amoeba. Drain our opponent for 6. Go to our main. So we can either Conflagrate for 4 and take out two of my opponent's blockers dealing one damage to... Yeah, that just kills them. <laughs> there might have been a technically better line, but this is why we didn't block. Nice. All right, we're two and one. I will see you all in round four. All righty, round four, here we go. We are on the draw. Mm, we have better hands than this one. We have no way to mill ourselves and no way to discard. Plus, we're holding a Creeping Chill, so this is basically a mulligan to six anyway. All right, mulligan to six. Um, we can put back Narc Amoeba. We have Shriekhorn and Loam. It's a little slow, slash inconsistent, but potentially very good. So, Ah, we're against Hardened Scales. Opponent starts Lanawar Reborn. We untap, draw Loam, and play Wooded Foothills. Fetch up a Stomping Ground. Play Shriekhorn. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays an Ink Moth into a Hardened Scales. Alright. And their second main will mill ourself. Get a Narc Amoeba and a Creeping Chill. Put a can Graft if they want to. <laughs> They're not going to. Alright. We untap. Mill ourself again. Bloodgast prized amalgam into a cathartic. So get back a bloodgast. Yield to graft. Yield to prized amalgam. Cathartic pitching stinkweed and loam. Dredge imp. Dredge loam. We draw conflagrate. Get back a narc amoeba. And pa uh, attack for one, of course. Pass the turn. Okay, so we get back our Amalgam. Next turn we can uh, dump Conflagrate to the yard and then Conflagrate, or we can Ox, depending on which we feel is uh, more powerful. Put a place Blink Moth. The nice thing is with Narc Amoebas, we at least can sort of protect ourselves from our opponent just going like Ravager, make big Ink Moth, because we do have blockers for it. Put it plays a Scrapyard Recombiner, and they do stack counters on it to make it a 5-5. All right, we untap, mill ourselves, milling Forest Bloodstain Mire. Uh, we draw naturally, Narc Amoeba. I think we're gonna play Arid Mesa. Just go for the Ox. So get rid of Cathartic, Merchant, Cathartic, Fetchland, Fetchland, Wooded Foothills, Forest, Copperline Gorge. All right, dump our whole hand. Dredge, Dredge, Dredge. All right, we will use Creeping Chill's ability. Go to combat. 
attack with everybody but one. I really hope we have a fetchable land left in the deck. Opponent blocks the prized amalgam. I'm kind of banking on the fact we do. And in reality, I don't actually have any idea. I think we have a blood crypt at least. No, uh, we might have a stomping ground. All right. Fetch, get a stomping ground, get back a blood ghast, and get back two amalgams. Could have done this on my opponent's turn, but it's unlikely they have any sort of board wipe. So the plan is cast loam, pick up a land that will come in untapped like mountain or blood crypt, then conflagrate and swing. And that should be enough. Okay, put a plays an ink moth nexus. Okay, opponent plays Ballista on three. We untap, draw an imp. Um, we've only hit two creeping chills. Cast loam. Go to combat. Opponent can like block, block, Ping, ping, ping. We can conflagrate for five. I don't know if we keep back blockers or not. I don't think so, because I think my opponent has to use up most of the walking ballista here. Oh, Scrapyard Recombiner can sack itself. I guess there's that to be worried about, because they could actually stack a ton of counters on ballista and, like, ping down our whole board. They should survive, is what I'm getting at. All right, go to damage. Let's uh, see how bad this is going to be. Okay, they put a ton of counters on Ballista. And they get to search for a Construct card. Another Scrapyard Recombiner. Well, we don't have to worry about Ink Moth this way. Okay. Ping down an Archamoeba. They ping down our other Narcomoeba. They're currently getting hit for seven. They ping down a Bloodgast. Now they're going to ping our prized amalgam and take two. Okay, so they're giving up on Ballista. So they ping us twice. So in that case, I think the ox is better here. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll cast, we'll get the ox. We're in a Narcomoeba, Narcomoeba, Land Merchant, Cathartic, Narcomoeba, and the game is over. All right, so versus our opponent's deck, we definitely want the Nature's Claims. We may want Dark Blast, um, Blast Zone definitely coming in, taking out an Arid Mesa. Oh, an Ancient Grudge. We definitely want Ancient Grudge. So I'm actually only going to bring in two Nature's Claim, two Ancient Grudge. And I'm going to cut a Merchant, one Cathartic, a Bl Arid Mesa. I'm just not going to run Arid Mesa because we're still at 18 lands. I brought in a land and took two out. That's how that worked. And then I need to cut one card. I'll cut a Shriekhorn. Try it like this. I probably shouldn't be cutting Shriekhorn, but... Well, we have a nature's claim and a land. Can't do a whole lot, though. I think I mulligan. Okay, I like this a little bit better. We'll keep... We'll put back a blood ghast. And we're going to try this. Opponent starts Pendlehaven, Harden Scales. We untap. Draw Conflagrate. Play Copper Line Gorge. Conflagrate, no targets. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays a forest. Torpor Orb. We untap and draw Creeping Chill. Play Blast Zone. I'm going to pass the turn. Because I think we need to Ancient Grudge that Torpor Orb. Opponent untaps. They play an Ink Moth. They play an Arcbound Worker. And a Throne of Geth. So we Ancient Grudge now. And we want to draw another green or red land. Untap. Alright. We untap. Sorry if you can hear that. That's the water softener going up, going off. Um, so we have to play Blood Crypt 
first. And the reason that we have to do that is because we want to ancient grudge this arcbound worker. Dump the dredgers. Dredge imp. Dredge loam. Dredge loam. Get back an arc amoeba, which triggers two amalgams. Ancient grudge this worker. Pass the turn. Get back our amalgams. All right. Opponent untaps. They play a land. They play the Ozolith. They have one card left in hand. And it is an Arcbound Worker. They animate Ink Moth. They sack Arcbound Worker. This is a lot of counters. I don't know if this is lethal or not, though. Two counters on the Ozolith. They proliferate both. Oh, are we dead? They move three over, which becomes four. We're dead exactly. Oh, no, we have an Arc Amoeba to block. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. Nobody panic. <laughs> All right, we untap. We draw a stomping ground. So, what do we do? We definitely have to hold up Ancient Grudge. That much is for sure. So we can loam back some lands. Play a forest. Get back Bloodgast. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for six. Take them to 14. They untap. They have a single draw. They play a Blink Moth Nexus. They animate Ink Moth. Go to combat. We're going to do this during combat. Ancient Grudge the Ink Moth. That doesn't do anything, does it? Okay. But that doesn't move the counters over to Blink Moth, is like right now, because I'm pretty sure this is at the beginning of combat. Yeah. Okay, they can proliferate. Oh, they proliferate Blast Zone. Clever. That's clever. All right. Ancient Grudge fizzles because of no legal targets. We untap. Um, yes, Dredge Loam. All right, go to our main. Play Bloodstained Mire. Go for the Ox. I guess that means everything. So we lose the Thug here. Dredge Imp. Dredge Loam. Dredge Loam. Get a Narc Amoeba. Drain our opponent for three. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for six. Take them to five. Eight. Excuse me, take them to three. And we can't conflagrate because we don't have quite enough uh, red mana. Then we loam. Pass the turn. And they are dead to us untapping. All right. We did it. We're three and one. I'll see you guys in round five. All righty. Round five. Here we go. We have lost the die roll. Uh, no dredgers, otherwise this hand would be amazing. We got a mulligan. Um, this one I can work with. We're going to put back Narc Amoeba. And we're going to hope Shriekhorn can get us there, because if it does, we are in for some good stuff. Play Shriekhorn. Pass the turn. Opponent probably on blue-white control, so maybe we get the uh, Redemption Arc here. Okay, on my opponent's second main, we'll mill. We mill a Conflagrate and a Bloodstain Mire. Untap. Mill ourselves again. All right, we draw Creeping Chill. <laughs> oh, this is a really, really, really anemic dredge hand. So, play Arid Mesa. Fetch Shock Blood Crypt. And I'm going to Conflagrate my opponent X2. Discarding Prized Amalgam and Creeping Chill. This is probably not important enough for my opponent to counter. All right, opponent goes down to 18. They crack Flooded Strand for a Prairie Stream, then untap. They play another Celestial Colonnade. We untap, mill ourself, Ox and Bloodgast. Play Cathartic, pitching Merchant and Bloodgast. The old No Dredge draw three. Get Spell Snared. Play Gemstone Mine, get back our Blood Ghasts, pass the turn, opponent untaps, plays a Hollowed Fountain tapped, we untap, draw Merchant, go to combat, attack our opponent for 7, take them to 10, cast Merchant of the Veil, the old 3 mana 2 3, gets mana leaked, it's always kind of funny to me when you see something like mana leak used on such an inconsequential spell i mean i'm not saying it was a wrong thing for my opponent to do it's just three mana two three powerful enough to get mana leaked in that scenario 
All right, go to combat. Cryptic tap, maybe? Cryptic tap. Go to second main. Uh, we're going to ox using every other card in our graveyard. All right, pass the turn. Opponent untaps, plays a planes. They probably got like a verdict. Six mana. Overload, Winds of Abandon. That's pretty good versus Dredge, I hear. Get all of our basics. We untap. What I wouldn't give for like a cathartic reunion here. That is not what I asked for, but uh, it is what I will have to deal with. Hardcast and Archimeba. Hardcast Golgari Thug. We're going to hold Copperline Gorge in hand just in case we top deck a Cathartic or we need to trigger a Bloodgast for some reason. Main deck wins of Abandoned. That must be some sort of... That is either Path to Exile number 5 or a concession that my opponent is going to be playing against Dredge. One of the two. Or both. It could be both. We untap. We draw another Thug. Go to combat. Attack for two. Six mana. When it cycles a Shark Typhoon, X4. They block the Thug. Alright. So Thug, we're going to put Amalgam back on top of our deck. Uh, second main, we're going to cast Creeping Chill. Take our opponent to six, pass the turn. Uh, both Conflagrates are gone, so any reach we need, we have to get from Creeping Chills. Opponent plays a Field of Ruin. Activates field, we have nothing to search for, so fail to find. No prized amalgam on top of our deck now. They hit us for four. We untap. Dredge. Hit an Archimeba. Go to combat. Attack for one. Opponent takes one and goes to five. Play thug. Pass the turn. Opponent casts Behold the Multiverse. I like seeing control play like commons and uncommons. Um, because generally to an extent, when that happens, um, and the commons are like recent standard or, or whatnot, it means that control becomes like this much more accessible to people who want to play it. But it attacks us for four, takes us to ten. As in it brings the cost of the, like, premier control deck down. But it plays another field. They're gonna field us off black mana. Okay, fail to find. Opponent main decks, timely reinforcements. That's pretty good. Against us, specifically. We untap, dredge imp. Um, we have ten cards in our grave. So we are going to attempt to ox. Getting rid of our other ox. We're leaving prized amalgam in the grave. Okay, we get mana leaked. Go to combat. Had our opponent for two in the air. They go to nine. That's important if we uh, mill over any blood ghasts. They path thug, we fail to find. Opponent plays Jace. They unsummon an Archimeba. Alright. They hit us for seven. Take us to three. And that's the game. My opponent is playing a list that tends to beat Dredge without assistance. Like, um, they're playing Timely in the main in addition to uh, Winds of Abandon as extra exile effects. I don't know if they're going to be playing Rest in Peace or not, but I think Thoughtseize is going to be our best bet to try and fight what our opponent's doing. I am going to bring in a nature, uh, two Nature's Claim, and that's going to be my sideboard for this matchup. We're going to dump a Merchant, a Loam, a Shriekhorn, and a Land... And I think I'm going to cut one more Merchant and try it like this. All right, we'll play first. <sighs> Tempting because of Thoughtseize, but the hand is so slow otherwise. This hand is bad because we've got no no dredge and no way to fight uh, Grave Hate. This is not much better. I'm going to four. All right, we got Thoughtseize, we got a dredger, and we got some lands. Here we go. Fetch with Bloodstain Mire, get a Blood Crypt, and Thoughtseize. Opponent has Opt Snapcaster. Take Opt. Pass the turn. We're gonna get beat by the guy who's just gonna like top deck lands and nothing else. To play Colonnade, we untap, draw Copper Line Gorge. Play Copper Line Gorge. Play Thug. 
The worst part is we can't even attack with Thug because if they block him with Snapcaster, he has to put himself back on top of the deck because we have no other creatures in the grave. Opponent, oh, po opponent foretells a card, so we know their whole hand now. Well, actually, we don't know one card. We untap and draw Conflagrate. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for one. <sighs> Play Wooded Foothills. Fetch. Get a Stomping Ground. Conflagrate our opponent for one. Pass the turn. That way we at least have a discard outlet for if we draw a dredger. Or like an amalgam or something. This is such a terrible hand. Opponent plays a land we didn't know about. We draw an ox. Conflagrate our opponent for one. Pitching ox. This is important. Because this way, if my opponent does in fact block Golgari Thug, we have a different creature to put back on top of our deck that isn't Golgari Thug. Okay, they go to 16. So at our end step, they behold the multiverse. But it fetched up a hollowed fountain. After doing so, they play field. We untap. Draw forest. Go to combat. Attack with thug. Pass the turn. Opponent gonna snap cast or opt? Nope. They're gonna field our black source. We get a mountain. They get an island. They untap. They play another field. We untap. Draw Shriekhorn. Play a forest. Play Shriekhorn. Playing around Mana Leak. That moment when you cryptic a Shriekhorn. Go to combat. Get in for one. Take him to 13. Yeah, that's right. you old one damage a turn clock. We untap. Draw Bloodstained Mire. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for one. Opponent takes one, goes to 12. Play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. All right, opponent flashes in Snapcaster for Behold the Multiverse. Okay. They untap. They field Stomping Ground. Get a Plains. They play another field. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yep the old double strip mine into rest in peace all right i'm gonna scoop because this is not worth playing out uh we would have to draw like abrupt decay off the top and then just hit this crazy line we had a bunch of turns to hit anything and we didn't so let's open up our treasure chest five play points a lich's mastery one of my personal favorite cards and a molder slug all right um, dredge is dredge. So you just dump a bunch of cards and you kill them really fast with like aggressive lines and creatures. And if you don't do that, you tend to lose. And you know what? I think we confirmed exactly that to be the case. Um, like I said, there's a couple of different ways you can build dredge. There's like Mardu dredge, uh, which is different, not necessarily worse, but less meta. Generally, uh, doesn't play life from the loam, tends to load up on thugs and go for a little bit more of an explosive line with um, silver smote ghouls and then usually like a smiting helix or two to help gain the life, get a little more reach to make up for the lack of conflagrate. Um, I don't really have any adjustments for this list. I just wanted to play something different than what I had been for a little bit. And uh, Vintage Cube is back, so probably expect some Vintage Cube coming up after this. Uh, I will be playing more of my usual decks following that but um i'm tired so i'm probably gonna go take a nap um hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel if you were so inclined and remember you can follow me on twitch same username over there as you find me on here i stream wednesdays at 6 p.m mountain time 8 p.m eastern standard time though the last few have been earlier um uh as of this moment in recording time i am at 799 subscribers on youtube so Hopefully, by the time y'all are seeing this, it's 800 or above. Uh, big, big thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently. I hope you're still enjoying the content. It means the world to me that uh, that many people care about the content that I create. And, um, yeah, I just want you to know that you're all wonderful human beings, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!